Goodwood Revival, the Vintage Car Festival, is happening this weekend. The agency is providing kitchen porters, cleaners and bar staff. This is our end of year kind of bang. We've got to make sure that we've got all our best people on this. Sarah had hoped to place all her new British recruits at the event. Right. So, talk to me about Goodwood. Um, we don't have enough people. OK, so if I go through the list, is Ellie working? Yesterday, she had a cold sore. OK. Today, she had a car accident. Oh, that's a lot of bad luck in one week. Comes in free, doesn't it? To be fair, I don't want to work 15 hours a day for 7.50. He doesn't want to work for what 25-year-olds have to work for. And he's got a kid on the way. And all the other people that we had from the networking event have not shown up or been in touch. They never come back. OK. So actually, we've got absolutely bollock all from the networking and from any Brit that's walked in. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. With just one Brit coming through, the team returned to their more trusted workforce. Anybody out there speak Latvian? It's now 4.30 in the morning on Goodwood Day, and the future of Opus Loco rests on 39 Eastern Europeans and one Brit turning up on time and dressed for work. So many, in there. Something in a different country. So how many are we down? Five, six. OK, let's go. Even with James and the last-minute push for more workers, they failed to hit their target. This is a massive wake-up call. It, it's, it's never happened to me since, the, since they opened the borders. I've never not been able to fulfil my obligations to my clients. I'm just concerned that people from the Eastern Bloc are not coming over to the UK because of Brexit. And it's the first year it's ever happened. OK, so that was Goodwood. OK, no problems. No, nope, all good, all good. Um, happy with James, really happy with James. So I take it there's another referendum you'd be facing Brexit? Via civil war, I think. Yes, I would vote Brexit. Absolutely. 100%. Would you vote Brexit again if there was another referendum? No. Don't tell Gaynor that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Um, I think... Uh, I think we were misinformed and... and I didn't in any way think it was going to have such a, a devastating effect 